Hey, what's up? Welcome back to The Vibe. You guys already know I like thrifting. And so today, I have another thrift haul for you guys. Surprisingly, I haven't went thrifting in a hot minute. So this was really exciting for me. If you're new to the channel, what's up? My name is Ethan. I feel like the overall theme of my channel is just aesthetically pleasing videos. I like to make videos about fashion, lifestyle, music, occasionally spiritual stuff, and just some random stuff about my life. And so if you like my vibe so far, you should definitely subscribe. And yeah, let's get started. Let's go. Let's go. So obviously we're gonna start off with the shirts. This is just a refresher, but usually when I shop for a thrifted shirt I always look at the size. I look for the style and I look for its uniqueness something that you wouldn't see so often I was honestly really lucky this thrifting session finding some cool shirts. All right. The first one is this one This is a Olympia Sports shirt one of the main reasons why I bought it is to me. It's so simplistic But at the same time it kind of has this like 95 at first it was kind of a long shirt But I've since cropped it and I, I really dig the shirt and also because it was really cheap That's another thing that I look for with shirts like I'm not wait I don't know if I should say this but even though a shirt looks so cool if it goes over 20 Sometimes you just have to ask the question, is it really worth spending $30 on a singular t-shirt? If not, and if you can make it easily at home with transfer paper, then the next shirt that I got is this brown shirt. It's this Corona shirt and it has some Spanish text onto it. I really dig these type of shirts that have like a very unique design on it, something that you don't always see. Personally, it's also comfortable and luckily it fits pretty nicely. So I'm very lucky to have this shirt. All right, the next one I actually found in the medium size section shirts. I usually shop in like the large and extra large, but I just came across this shirt. It's a hard rock cafe shirt, but from Paris, you cannot go wrong with a hard rock cafe shirt, especially from Paris. Like the design in the back also is pretty dope too. Now here's the thing. Sometimes when you thrift, especially lately during the pandemic, you really have to hope for the best when it comes to sizing. I don't usually use the fitting rooms at my thrift stores to try on some clothes. And so I honestly, just look at a shirt and if it looks good then let's just hope it fits me well to be honest this shirt is kind of okay for me in terms of fitting i usually prefer the more oversized shirt but i have to admit i mean like the design looks so cool i might like turn into a crop top or something and also it was pretty cheap so i don't know we'll see all right the next shirt that i got is probably one of my favorite shirts that i've gotten ever is this playing guitar one right and in the back doesn't that look so dope? Like with all the guitars, I really like the pop of color in this shirt. And also with this shirt too, I can make a lot of outfits with this shirt. That's another thing that I look for in shirts. If it has this sort of versatility when it comes to making outfits, then I can definitely buy it. But yeah, genuinely, I fell in love with this shirt. Like. Oh my God. All right, this shirt is one of the more oversized shirts. It's just this black Outlaws shirt. I think the design looks really cool in the back. Now, when I got this shirt, it was kind of pretty long as well. And so I've since made it into a crop top so it can fit me better. But yeah, the design definitely got me. And also I can make a lot of outfits with this shirt too. All right, the next shirt I got was this collared shirt. I wore this my last video. I think it was where I had a little partnership with Vanity Fair. If you haven't watched it, you can watch it. I mean, it was with Vanity Fair, so it was really cool working with them. I mean, they're just so nice. But anyways, so honestly, what I really like about this shirt is that it kind of has this like 90s sitcom vibe. I immediately thought of an outfit I could do to sort of embody like 90s men's fashion back then. I don't know. I kind of dig the design. If you look close up, I mean, it looks like paint blots, but I don't know. Some of them look like little cats. I don't know. It's weird. Are we having like a little art psychology? One of them looks like a cactus. What does that mean? Like, I <laughs> also, when I tried it on, I really like how the way it fits me. It was just perfect. I was like, okay. I was a bit worried because after I bought this shirt, I found out it was XXL and I was like, oh, like what if I don't fit it properly? And it just fits me perfectly. So, I mean, it's a big dub for us. The last shirt I got is kind of like this athleisure. It's just this blue jersey and it has proud of Los Angeles. I definitely dig this type of stuff. I was so excited and it was really cheap too. It has these like cool patches on them, like with some baggy cargos or some baggy jeans. I like, I think this would, Look good. All right, so that's the shirt so far. Let's go to the pants. I try to make new friends so I can pretend. I give up such a 
The first pant I got was this brown cargo pants. I like me some good cargo pants. However, lately I've just been getting a lot of khaki cargo pants. I haven't really been expanding the pant variety that I have. And so I definitely wanted to cop this one. This is just another color of, you know, your basic cargo pants. Again, it's pretty comfortable when I tried it on. It had the perfect amount of bagginess for myself. And so I really like it. I am really excited to make a lot of outfits with these pants. All right, the next one that I have is actually some shorts. All right, these ones were probably the most expensive out of all the things that I got. These are some really cool shorts. Now lately, I've kind of been into denim shorts, jean shorts, kind of brings back the early 2000s. This one, this one absolutely shocked me because at first, I mean, I was contemplating it. It doesn't look that bad. Kind of like the boss logo here is kind of unique, but when I turned it around, Bro, okay, it's not that it's not that much. I really like what they embroidered here. It's just so unique. I think I got these for about I'd say like less than $15, but I'm definitely excited to wear this. Like this is probably one of my favorite things that I got from this thrifting session. <laughs> so the next one we have is just some classic jeans. These I'd say are just pretty much like 90s boyfriend jeans kind of. It's from this brand. I was like freaking out at first. I'm like, whoa, are these jeans from the UK? And I was really excited to wear these because they were my my size. But when I tried them on, I realized that the actual pant legs right here are actually tapered. And like the upper part of the jeans is pretty wide. And so, I mean, the way they fit me is not really ideal, but I will say they're kind of comfortable. They're really comfortable jeans. There are some jeans that I've worn in the past where they can just get stiff. I'm not complaining. I got these for, I think like less than $10. I was just really hyped when I saw the Union Jack on it. I was like, bro. Okay, the next one I have is just some classic sweatpants. I think this is from the Challengers. I definitely want to get more sweatpants. I'm definitely that guy who likes to wear some baggy jeans and an oversized t-shirt a lot. And so I kind of want to switch it up a bit, but I mean, you can't go wrong with some sweatpants, especially when they're really soft too. All right, the last item. I didn't realize that this video would be kind of short. These are just some basic olive green pants. Again, as I mentioned, I have a lot of pants, but they're pretty much like khaki. And so nowadays when I'm thrifting, I'm definitely on a lookout for some pants that have a nice fit, but also is a different color besides khaki. All right, yeah, that was my thrift haul for the month of July. I hope you guys enjoyed. Again, this is my time to remind all of you guys to go out there, help your community out, go thrifting. You really don't know what you're gonna find, especially for a low price. By the way, some people have asked me in the past, like, where do I get a lot of my clothes? What thrift store do I go to? The main ones that I go to are Goodwill and the art store if you're living in Colorado. Personally, I haven't done that much online thrifting. I just like the idea of physically going into the thrift store, putting on my headphones, and like going through each individual aisle, sort of like finding treasure or something. Now I will say, if you live in my area, 719, if you know what I mean, I feel like there's a lot more cool stuff in Southern Colorado Springs. So, hey. I, that's just my opinion. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like my vibe, you should definitely subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification bell as well. Make sure you guys like this video. And if you made it all the way up to here, which thank you, homie, comment down below, what's your favorite thrift store find? Again, thank you all so much for watching. Stay safe, guys. God bless. And until next time, peace.